We're driving on 3D printed wheels. Have you ever wondered if you can actually drive a car on wheels made entirely from a 3D printer? Oh! I thought it sounded like a dumb and dangerous idea, so obviously I had to try. What started out as a simple idea ended up taking literal months of testing, iteration, and printing. So much printing. But I ended up with a 3D printed wheel that did so well, it even survived our destruction test. Oh, it's smoking. And in some ways did better than a real tire. It wasn't this one though. Ugh. So can you actually drive on 3D printed wheels? Let's find out. Like every good maker YouTube video, our story begins at Open Sauce 2024. There we met a guy named Ruda who was representing Prusa 3D printers. We told him about our channel and how we had just bought a Ford Pinto to do dumb experiments with. He told us about their massive printer that can print a full car tire in one go with real rubber on it. Naturally, this was a match made in heaven. Just like me and your mom. So I left Open Sauce with a great idea, a free printer coming my way, a love for engineering, and a hatred for outgeneering. I started by Googling a 3D printed tire, but all I found was this tire by Michelin. And that's me. <laughs> But then I remembered Prusa has a file for this exact wheel. It took around five days to print, but look at it, it's looking great. Yeah. It's stuck on there. I just had to remove some supports in a satisfying crunch montage. Uh, oh. But then I realized a critical oversight I had made. This tire wasn't made to fit on a 1972 Ford Pinto. I don't know how I thought it would. Our lug nuts are definitely bigger than a quarter inch. What is this, a tire for ants? So I gave up on Google and decided I'd have to make the file myself. The problem is, I'm bad at 3D modeling. But after hours of hard work and determination, I came up with this. Please, hold your applause. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but this isn't the final product. First we need to print it, then we need to go see if it'll fit on the car, because theory will only take you so far. All right, here's the moment of truth. Did this kilogram of material go to waste? Okay, it went on. Ah. Now that we know it fits, we can go print the other three. Oh, that came right off. What a beaut. Ooh. We're ready to get these bad boys installed. I don't see how this could go wrong. This is how my daddy taught me to jack it. <laughs> this is the inside. This is like bare bones minimum 3D printing because we wanted to test the standard settings. Oh yeah, that's sturdy. It doesn't even come off. All right, man, should we do the weight test? Yeah, let's see if she survives. All right, there's no way. Go slow Am I gonna steady. be able to get the jack out? Put a two by four under it. Oh, it's making noises. Uh-oh. Is that the wood or the wheel? <laughs> I think it's good. Okay, it's off the jack completely. No way. All right, let's get the other wheels on. Okay, we got the wood underneath it. Let's see if it blows up. Hopefully not. Oh, oh shoot. You see that? Oh. oh. Uh, uh, I think that tire is done for. Let's put the last wheel on. Okay. That's sturdy. Let's lower it down and see how she does. Voila, it's on all 3D printed tires. I mean, aside from that crappy one, they're all holding up. All right, let's see if this back wheel survives driving off the wood. That didn't sound oh, very good. Oh my gosh. What was that? That was terrifying. Oh! <laughs> well, I wanted to see what the quickest and easiest solution would be, and it is obviously not this. Well, I probably should have seen that coming. It looks like we're gonna need a new design that's a lot stronger. I don't know why, but it's always really satisfying to me to watch a 3D modeling time lapse. It might not be for you, but it is for me, so that's why it's in the video. If you're familiar with Fusion 360, this is probably really painful to watch because I have no idea what I'm doing. But what matters is that I got there in the end, and you can't argue with results, even if they take three times as long. Luckily for you, this is a time lapse, and now our design is finished. We're also going to switch to a stronger filament. See, we started with this filament. It's called PLA, but it's kind of brittle. You see, just like that, it snaps. You can really see the zit on my forehead right now. We're going to be switching to PETG. This filament is a little harder to work with, but it's a lot less brittle. I can't 
break it with my hands. It's even strong enough to hold up 27 little freak on board signs available now at waterjetmuseum.com. This isn't just for information. This is a warning. We're also going to make the tread out of TPU. This is pretty much rubber. It's the same thing that my phone case is made out of. Making the tires three inches thicker will make them a lot stronger and so will doubling the infill setting or the density of it. But printing tires like this is going to take a lot more filament than we have. So we sent a quick little email to our buddy Ruda at Prusa. About a week later, a mountain of filament showed up on our doorstep. This is like 33 kilograms of filament. Thank you, Prusa. Thank you. He also gave us some tips on how to make the wheel stronger and print faster. So thanks, Ruda. Once we printed the first one, we had to go test and see if it fit. Oh, it just peeled right off. Oh, did it? Wowzers, what a treat. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> we had a few problems and we needed to make a few adjustments, so we changed some things in the files and then printed another one. We were getting closer, but that one still had a couple minor issues, so we ironed those out and finally our file was perfect. But just as we were about to install them on the car, we ran into another problem. It also might be too small. You can see this little bar comes down here. I'm worried about that on these rear ones. It is indeed hitting. We don't really know what these are. We think they're called rocker bars. They hang off the car and they help protect the suspension and keep it intact. But right now it's in the way and we need them off. So I spent a couple hours busting these rusty nuts, getting them off the car. And now three months later, we were finally ready to put these wheels on the car and test them. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna go crazy when I put it into drive. Come on, Greg, you can do it. Oh, no way. We're driving on 3D printed wheels. <laughs> no I can't way. believe this is actually working. Scraping is so something much. scraping? It, yeah, the bottom of your car is scraping ever so slightly. I, 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 I don't know if it's your exhaust or, or your leaf springs, but it is getting insanely close to the ground. Oh man. Well, uh, let's try and drive and see what happens. Tally ho! I can't believe this is working. It's just a little scrapey. There you go, Gregory. Oh man. Oh, the oh, so that bad. is so scrapey. I mean, can you talk about a low rider right there, though? We need uh, Lightning McQueen to repave these roads. Oh man, I cannot believe this is working this well. <laughs> you are driving so well. Uh, you just look ridiculous from the front. It's, oh. it's beautiful. <laughs> my little tiny wheels. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. And then just a oh, scrape. Oh. Every oh time dear. you go over the smallest bump, you're scraping like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna floor it. Let's see what happens. Actually, this is floored. The engine's so scuffed. Whee! Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can survive a speed bump. Oh man. Gotta use my turn signal. <laughs> the, the mailman's probably like, "What the heck is that?" <laughs> We're on a real road, driving a car with 3D printed wheels. <laughs> This is so dumb. All right, are we gonna high center on the speed bump? I kind of don't want to find out. Like, oh, look man. at what you're, you're gonna have to clear a huge speed bump here. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, that sounded so terrible. I think that was the drive train. <laughs> yeah, that was not the best thing I've ever seen. All right, we gotta do a high speed run on this road here. We gotta see if we can make it to the gas station. Here we go. We're about to do a top speed test. They're making funny noises. Oh, that's like 25 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my God. No way. Those sound like those are gonna explode, Daniel. Those are gonna explode. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Can't see jack squat. Okay, I'm turning on this road. There's sparks coming out from underneath your car. Oh my gosh. You think we could make it to the gas station? I feel like we kind of have to. Oh man, if only they were like two inches bigger, we wouldn't be scraping probably. Oh dude, like they are thunder. making such bad noises. This is so funny for no reason. Well, okay, there's a lot of reasons why it's funny. We gotta, we gotta hit this at ramming speed. Oh, oh. That one. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Why are there speed bumps at a gas station? Ah, time to get some gas. The low ride is almost Yeah, it's a low ride. It's scraping. <laughs> we definitely lost a lug. Don't know where it went. It was super loud. I could hear it was like the most scary noise. Absolutely like ripping knocks. around. That's crazy. Oh, they're really squishy. They're warm now. What? How long did you make those? About five days each. <laughs> oh, take that long. Yeah. And it, believe it or not, it costs like $80 a wheel. So God. definitely not worth it. <laughs> Honestly, we're kind of ahead of Bugatti, I think. Yeah. They're 3D printing titanium gearboxes. We're doing whole wheels right now. It's yeah. kind of we're big cooler. deal. It's, it's plastic, yeah. driving this rolling explosion. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. He's the bold guy doing it. <laughs> what the f***? Dude, <laughs> who's is this? It's mine. Don't ever get hit from behind, they blow up. Yeah. Is it better to go diagonal or not? Oh my gosh, that sounds so bad. I didn't know. <laughs> you just lost the lug nut, so be very careful. We got four on that one. Three, okay. Okay, this one's got two lugs. <laughs> this one has one? Oh my gosh. Once we were back safely, we decided to really put these wheels to the test, starting by running over a nail. All right, here we go. Oh, they're going straight in. Really? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> they're inside. That's so funny. But here's the thing. You can totally keep driving on these wheels. You don't need air. Let me get off the nail. Let's see if it comes out or if it stays in it. Oh, oh it's, wait, wait. it's totally stuck. Oh, no. Oh. It is in there. <laughs> wow. The tire works just fine even though it had nails in it three seconds ago. The wheel did great on the nail test, so now let's do a burnout test and see how that does. We flipped the car around so we could get a better shot of the back tire, and wouldn't you know it, the other side started spinning. That was actually the tire that went through the nail test. Here we go on the burnout test. This time, visible on camera. Let me know when you're safe. I'm safe. Okay, giving it the gas. Oh, there it goes. All right, it's working. Oh. oh, that's zooming. That is moving fast. Oh, this is scary. I can't see what's happening. I just have to listen. Oh, the speedometer says 20. Oh, it's smoking. 25. Oh, dear. That's scary. Oh, it smells like burnt rubber. It does smell like burnt rubber. Oh. Look at that. Look at the smoke. Oh my gosh. It's smoking like crazy. Oh. It started as pellets, then it went to filament, and then it went to the tire, and now it's a blob on the ground. Oh wow, it fills it's a, up. It's Whoa! A, it's a whole carpet. That's so oh. cool. Oh my gosh, how is there so much? <laughs> it's bigger than my head. It just completely removed the TPU on the outside. But look, it's still like strong. As long as you don't do any burnouts and use all your lug nuts, you'll be fine. Thanks to Prusa for sending us their printer and their filament. And go buy yourself the little freak on board sign available now at waterjetmuseum.com. I can't use all these. So happy. Oh yes, no, 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 no,